All right, we got the whole crew today. We got Lisa Marie. Marie, say hi. We got Celeste. We got Trent. So we're gonna be heading out to uh, Boca Grande Sandbar. So if you want to learn how to get there safely, make sure you stay tuned. Watch this whole video. It's one of the most awesome places I go to on the whole planet. Probably one of the most beautiful places you'll ever see, and it will be the furthest south you can ever go in the continental United States, except for Dry Tortugas. So. We're going to about to hop on the boat and head that way, so stay tuned. Finally made it to Boca Grande, guys. Try to do some lobstering, but the wind, it's just blowing so hard that there's nothing you really do except have a sandbar day when it's blowing like 20, 20 plus knots. So the girls are over there and Trent, we're over there. We're gonna have a couple drinks for you guys. We're gonna do, some, do a little walk around, show you guys what's going on over here at Boca Grande. So check it out, you're in Key West, come to Boca Grande Island, have a good time. The, the, the naked guy left, I know that's usually me, but there's a naked guy over here, so we couldn't really be putting that on YouTube. But as you can see, Boca Grande is a very beautiful place. There's not a place like it here on the planet. It's one of my favorite places. It's even getting turned up on a Tuesday here. Turned up on a Tuesday. What do you think was in that guy's jar that he gave? We had a guy offer us uh, some suspicious liquids. Definitely moonshine. It was moonshine? Yeah. That's what it means. I don't know. All right, we're about to do uh, the uh, Boca Grande float so what you do is you head up current right now the current's coming from that way and you have your drink in your hand and you got to finish your drink before you get back to the boat so that's what we're going to do now we're going to hop onto the gopro not the expensive camera so we can show you guys what it's like all right let's go guys celeste what do you think about your first drift down boca grand is this place pretty cool or what until she gets pulled out to the ocean so cool. Just don't get caught by the ocean currents and you'll be fine. It's crazy there's so many people here on Tuesday. Alright, so you gotta walk to the front of the island right here, guys. Yep, that's where you put in at. Right there. And then you gotta float back to the boats way down there. You don't pull out here, you put in here. All right, we got a good drift going right now. Bro, there's a lot of cicadas on this island. Yeah. We're almost out of beer. I mean, I am out of beer. <laughs> He's like, I'm out of beer. <laughs> My drift is over, I'm out of beer. <laughs> It's my boat, I can hit it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if we pretended like it wasn't so we just rammed it and it bounced off? <laughs> we made it back guys. Is everybody done with their drink? Everyone done? Yep. Celeste? Yeah. Done? Yep. Of course you're done. Alright, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to get to Boca Grande from Christmas Tree Island or right around Key West Harbor. Uh, with the Navionics app, you can use your app, this app on your phone if you don't have a GPS to get there safely. Uh, I have it pulled up on my PC right now, like just screen recorded uh, for you guys with waypoints that are going to go through and will help you 
safely get there and I will put those uh, waypoints in the description so you guys can get there but if you have any knowledge of boating and how to follow channels you shouldn't have any problems going to Boca Grande from Key West Harbor uh, there is a little bit of big water crossing in that Northwest Passage channel but besides that you're pretty much gonna be smooth uh, boating all the way through there so stay tuned we're gonna hop on the screen record and I'm gonna walk you guys through it and then we'll see you guys out at Boca Grande All right, we got Navionics pulled up here. You can see, just made my first waypoint over here by Key West Harbor. We're going near Wisteria Island or Christmas Tree Island. And you're gonna cut all the way across that uh, Northwest Channel right over here. And you're gonna hit this channel that's gonna take you towards Mule Key. So we'll follow these waypoints here. This is usually just about the path that I take, uh, depending on wind. So once you get around Mule Key, you'll see a set of channel markers. You want to go through the center of those watch it it's pretty shallow right here and then you're going to be back open as you're heading into an area called the lakes there will be another channel marker you want to pass through it red on your uh, on your right and you can just follow the channel markers all the way through the lakes here and uh, they are pretty far apart so you will have a little bit difficult time seeing them but it's all pretty deep right in the lakes and it will lead you right to these two channel markers that will take you through all of these shallow cuts into the channel and ultimately right there to the awesome part of the sandbar which is Boca Grand Key. So just be careful once you get in there close because it does get pretty shallow and there are a lot of coral heads and stuff in that area. And uh, enjoy your time. We'll see you guys out there. Pretty simple run. It's about, uh, it's, about it's closer to, uh, this is only saying it's about 15 miles. But it's, it's closer to 17 miles every time I mark it out. But I am coming from Boyd's Campground, so probably from Key West Harbor. It probably is about 15 miles. So we'll see you guys out at uh, Boca Grande. Don't forget to bring a couple extra drinks. Don't forget to bring something to eat. All right, guys, the sun's about to set. We have to head in. Unfortunately, we were all hit by a... What's what's a whole school of jellyfish? What is? I what? think it was just one jellyfish. Whatever. It was either a thousand jellyfish or one jellyfish. Like it's it messed cool. it all. It messed us all up. <laughs> like we got hit hard. It got us. So we're uh, we're gonna head in before dark here. It's a long uh, it's a long boat ride through the lakes. It's about 14 miles back to Key West. So we're gonna get going. We'll see you guys at dinner. We're gonna do a snapper from the other night. <laughs> 